Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to talk about the things I wish I knew over 10, 11, 11 years now ago when I started fitness. First of all, it's just to be patient. You watch these people online, especially nowadays before we didn't really have that. We just saw them in magazines. Um, so you weren't really able to see constant. It was just if you picked up a bodybuilder magazine, you saw it. But nowadays you've just got it thrown in your face. People constantly transfer, six weeks transformation and they go from being overweight to ripped and it's not real but we still believe it in our heads for some reason <clears throat> not to get too distracted with other what other people are doing so when I first started I would do a plan and then I'd see someone doing something else and I'd be oh well I'm going to do that as well now and add that in or as well as I'll take something away do that instead rather than just sticking to my program. So also is find a gym that is an affordable for you. So um, we, in the UK, we have David Lloyd, which is quite expensive. Um, it's more of a um, older adult with swimming and they do have play place for children, I think, like a soft play. So if you have a bit more money and that is something that you can, um, you want and you can afford, then that's great. For me, when I was training, I had two small children and I was on my own. So the only way I could do it was, I don't know, I worked. So I had to wait until the evening and then I had an anytime pass and what I had to do was go to a soft play, drop them into the soft play for an hour, drive over, quickly get my workout done and then go back to pick them up. And it was, I just made it work. Um, and it was quite affordable for me to be able to do that. But nowadays we're really lucky and we do have online. So, you know, for, you can get classes, my classes, online so you could train with the children in the background playing on their xboxes so but back then it wasn't really a thing um especially the online stuff so just to find a gym that's affordable for you don't go and don't go to the first gym you know um and spend a hundred pounds a month on a gym that you you might not end up wanting to be in because it's all about the atmosphere do you want to train there because i've been in so many gyms that you go for a few times and you don't like the people you don't like the atmosphere so it's it's worth um <clears throat> trialing it out for a week when i first started i did not have a rest day i was one of the bros i always said What's a rest day? What's cardio? Proper bodybuilder. If you don't know, I'm in the bodybuilding background, always have been for the last 12 years. I've just purely uh, based my training around bodybuilding. It's what I love. Arnold classic bodybuilding, pumping iron, just yes. So, it was a real bro old school way. And like I said, I got most of my information from magazines. So, and, and the magazines I used to read were from the like the 60s. So 60s and 70s. So um, yeah, they were pretty old, but tried and tested. They still stand today, you know? So um, anyway. Obviously we've got more scientific based things, uh, so we're a little bit further on, but as far as the training goes, we've got some new equipment, but back to basics, compound movements, bars and dumbbells, you can't really go wrong. So <laughs> anyway, um, so is to have active rest days. So this is something since COVID I have 
actively done. So I have, make sure I have a day where I um, at least do some yoga, stretching, go for a longer walk, go swimming, anything to do with moving my body, dancing, put a song on, dance around for a, a four or five minutes at a time. Anything that is moving um, while I'm on my rest day. So active rest is a must. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel like I don't know anybody who hasn't compared themselves to, and made themselves feel bad by comparing themselves to others. The thing is, is if anybody ever says to you, buy my plan, I'll make you look like me. Just know that they are, is fraud because there's no way you will ever look like them, ever. You do not have their genetics, you do not have their work ethic, you do not have anything that they have. You don't have their metabolism, you don't, you don't have any of that. You have you. So you can have whatever you can strive to have, but you cannot strive to have what someone else has. But that being said, it doesn't mean that's a negative thing because what you have, someone else might not want to have. And always remember, whenever you're looking at someone else, there's always someone else looking at you in envy. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so don't compare yourself. We all know this one. We know it, but we do it. But don't, don't spend so much time scrolling on social media at the people that make you upset. Scroll um, and follow and like people that inspire you, who make you feel good. Get rid of the things that make you feel bad. Just get rid of them. You do not need them in your life. I may be a shocker, but you're not always going to be motivated. For a good five years, I was highly motivated. It was my be all and all. I did not want anything else out of life but to train and train hard. I trained so hard for so many years. I loved it and then one day I had to stop. Covid hit <laughs> and it was a shock. It was a real shock to me. I didn't know who I was. I lost all my sense of identity because I was Miss Bianca Nicole, the two trained. I was always in the Who are you? I am Yuri, the trainer. And what is it you do here, Yuri, the trainer? I train. So you are Yuri, the trainer who trains. I did my classes online, but as far as when I didn't have a class, I was not motivated at all. And then it took a good year and a bit, <laughs> just getting there now, to get back into that motivation of wanting to go all the time, five days a week. So say. But yeah, so you're not always going to be made. So there's going to be days, even when you feel like you look good, when everything is going right and there's nothing wrong, there doesn't always have to be something wrong for you not to be motivated. Sometimes it can be so great. Sometimes you can just be Len and Ben and like, I don't want to go today because I want to spend the day just watching TV, you know, and or spending it with my nephew or my niece and baking cakes. That's fine. But just allow it to be for that moment and move on. And just remember the next day. Okay, so I had that day where I wasn't motivated, but today, I'm going to be motivated. I'm going to do this and just make it happen. Because once you get there, you will be fine. You will be fine. Just remembering, going to the gym is not a chore. Going to the gym is helping your body. Going to the gym is a form of self-love. I love my body enough 
to help it grow, to help it function properly. If you had a dog, which most people have dogs, and the people who don't take their dogs for a walk, the first thing that anybody ever says is, she doesn't even take that dog for a walk. How neglectful. Hmm. So don't neglect yourself. See it as a positive. I am lucky. I am grateful. I can go to the gym. And it doesn't matter what I do in the gym today. I can just go in there, do some kettlebells and some swings on the operator because I find that fun. But I'm going to go there and have a good time and move my body because I love myself. And that gets me on to mental health. So, majority of people have responsibilities, some people don't, lucky you. But a majority of us do, and majority of us have things going wrong, have had things going wrong. Life, that it happens, unfortunately. It is the way it is. But how you deal with it is up to you. Every time you decide not to get angry at a situation, you're rewiring your brain to be more calm. So just remember that next time. But as far as mental health goes, the way I see it, doorbell went. So the way I see it is if you had a cup and the cup was nearly empty, you could not feed your family, friends, kids pay for your bills do anything with this cup so you are the cup so you need to fill yourself up first don't put anybody above you because even even if you have children you have to put yourself first because the only the only people those children have got to look after them is you so if you are empty, where are they going to get someone to look after them? So you need to fill yourself up. The same with if you don't have children, it doesn't matter. You need to make sure you're okay. So self-care, drink your water, eat healthy, exercise, move your body. Find something fun that you enjoy, walking, horse riding, skiing, uh, skip rope, <laughs> just anything. Just move your body find something you will find something that you will enjoy i promise but you have to try for your mental health and your mental health is so important so important and i'm not saying you have to pretend that it doesn't exist i've dealt with a very, very, very hard life of mental health issues. Not myself, but somebody I was around and beyond help. And it's hard, I know. But if you're not taking medication because you don't need medication, you need to medicate, self-medicate with self-love. So make sure you write a journal or if you're not into that sort of thing, Make sure the moment you wake up, you put on a good, your favourite song to make you have a great day. Smile. Smiling alone. Did you know if you smile at someone, they will smile back and you will have a great day? If you put on perfume, is one of the ways to have a lovely day. Because you smell good. And then people walk past you and go, Mmm, God, he smelled good. It's the little things every day that you can do to make yourself have a great day which you, they don't seem like much, but they amount to more. Making a bed, coming home to a lovely clean bed and pre-made food they made the night before. These are little things for you by your future self will thank me for doing this. And that is, and I always do. I'm so glad I did that. When do you ever say that? It's more like, oh, God, I wish I did that. So 
tiny little things is making priority your mental health. Now going to the gym and being active is one of those things. Is whether you like it or not, it is a massive, massive thing. That's why a majority of the people who go to the gym did or are suffering from something at one or now or at one point. There's a few people who are that's fair enough, but the majority of people are. So just remember that. Also, the next one is when you are at the gym, especially when you are a newbie, guess what? Nobody's looking at you. They're not looking at you. They are looking at themselves. <laughs> Everybody in that gym is just looking at themselves. They may have glanced at you, especially if it's a bloke, a woman, or sometimes, don't get me wrong with men, sometimes it's women staring at a bloke. But the majority of the time, it's just like when you're on FaceTime with someone, you're not looking at that person, you are checking yourself out. That is it. So remember, when you walk into a gym, own it, because nobody's even noticed you. You are in your own bubble. They are just so self-centered and interested in what they look like and how other people are perceiving them that you could do whatever you want. And I, I just, please, I dare you to do it and see if anyone even notices anything other people are doing at all. Don't worry about them. And if you're overweight or unfit, do not think going into the gym that people will judge you. When you are at a restaurant or McDonald's, people are judging you. When you go to the gym, they're not judging you because you're trying. Do not be embarrassed about trying. It doesn't matter whether you're skinny, fat, overweight. If you are trying, nobody is judging you. And if they are judging you, they're judging you because that's the type of person they are and they'd probably judge me too. And, I, and who cares what they think? Who are they? Who, you know? Do not worry what others think. Don't need to buy anything. You do not need supplements. You do not need protein powder. And you do not need the new release of the new outfits that are out today. You do not need them. They are not going to help you. If you want them, that's fine. Do you? I personally like going on eBay and buying pound leggings or going to thrift shops and finding what I can. I'm a big charity shop, thrift, thrift antique shop girl i absolutely love it if i can find a road shop thrift, thrift antique shop girl i absolutely love it if i can find a real outfit from the 80s whoo i am happy so but that's at minimal cost you don't need those things um for the first eight years of my training career i did not I couldn't afford, um, I couldn't afford all the supplements, I couldn't afford the protein, and when I did, I went to the pound shops, to B&M, I got my multivitamins, my vitamin C, Aldi, I, I just got them from all of those places, and they sometimes do protein powders, I just got them from there. As long as they didn't have too much um, sugars in, they're fine and they're supplementary. They're supplementing. That's why they're called supplements because you can get them from your food. They're supplementing what you can't get from your food. So you don't need them. Just make sure you get a variety of food. So if you struggle, there's so many things out there right now. If you struggle with your food and what to have, I'm going to make a video on what to eat if you don't know what to eat. So that will be up soon, so wait out for that. Focus on your goals. So just focus on the goals at hand. Start, take photos, video if you need to, if you want to, if you're confident enough to, that's fine. 
or just video yourself when you get home so you can see your day-to-day -day progress. I don't care how much you hate the way you look right now. I guarantee I could put 100 pounds on it right now if you take a photo or a video take loads now while you don't like yourself go to the gym give it a few months months because it takes a long time you will be so happy i guarantee you will post that picture next to your transformation picture because you will be so damn proud where you've been and where you are now in the past it doesn't matter who you are it's who you are now and it's lovely having that evidence i don't have any of that evidence i hated who i was i i didn't take any photos so i have no proof i have like the odd random one that other people took but i have none to compare i have nothing to compare from what i look like then to what i look like now i suffer from anorexia so i was at seven stone one point and then i went up and i was um i was bulimic but i was overweight um you know so i have all of these different i've gone from all the different scale up down up down up down but i have no proof no evidence so I really, 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 this is my number one, take photos and videos of where you started. Anyway, I really, really hope this has helped. If you like this, like, comment and subscribe because it really means a lot to me. And if you have any more questions, drop them in the comments below because I will answer them, maybe do another video. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And have the most marvellous day.